Why did the salesperson cross the road? How's the subject line of a recent cold email that I received? I knew it was a cold email. I knew that the subject line was only used to get my attention, and I knew that I still needed to know the answer. So yes, I clicked. And the actual punchline wasn't actually that great, but the use of humor to capture my attention was. Because like you, I get dozens of pitches in my inbox every single day. Even more if you count the number of people who just stumbled on my profile and were impressed on LinkedIn. And yet this one made me open it. Why? Because of curiosity and the implied promise of a bit of joy once I read the punchline. And this type of humor can be a powerful technique in sales or in any other type of influence and is one we're teaching to a number of sales organizations at their SKOs every single year. And for non-sales people, that's sales kickoffs, not strategic karaoke outings. That's because humor isn't just a nice to have in sales. It's a powerful tool for building rapport, easing tension, and making a lasting impression. Ever notice how your best conversations leave you laughing? Well, imagine if your sales calls felt like that. Easy, fun, and memorable. So if you were to bring a smile to your sales process, like the 20 plus sales organizations we've already worked with, here are three simple but effective humor hacks that will help you to connect, engage, and yes, close more deals with laughter. Oh, and if you want more tips on how to be more effective at work and life, just be sure to hit subscribe. Humor hack number one, the comic triple. Surprise with the unexpected. The comic trip was a classic humor technique where you set up two expected items and then throw in something unexpected for the third. It's a quick and easy way to get a smile, even over email. One way to use it is to think of a list relevant to your product, service, or the buyer's needs. Mention two standard items and then add a quirky, funny third option that catches them off guard. For example, you could say our platform will boost your revenue, streamline your workflow, and give you more time to pretend you like golf. This technique works because it's short and plays with expectations, making it ideal for both conversation and written communication. Plus, it's easy to see where you can use it. Anytime you have a list, see if you can add something unexpected at the end. It may not always be laugh out loud funny, but it will get people to lean in a little bit more. Humor hack number two, the planned ad lib. Be ready for reactions. Ever had a potential client respond in a way that caught you off guard? Instead of fumbling, try a planned ad lib where you have a few ready responses to common scenarios. Note this technique also works very well for my fellow introverts in any type of small talk scenario. This strategy keeps you quick on your feet while sounding natural and personal. One way to use it is to write down a list of common objections or questions you get during your sales calls, then brainstorm a few humorous responses for each. For example, if someone says, I don't know if I'm ready to switch to a new provider, you can respond with, hey, I totally get it. Switching feels like deciding to break up with your hairstylist. It's terrifying, but worth it. Just a little light humor can ease the tension and open up the conversation. And humor hack number three, yes and. Build on their ideas. Yes and is a fundamental technique in improv and is one of the best tools for any type of collaboration, which is what sales should be. It's about listening, affirming, and building on what the other person has said. By using yes and, you show clients that you're not only listening, but also looking for ways to help. One way to use it is when a client or prospect shares a concern, start with, yes, I see why that's important, and then add an ad to build on top of it with a humorous but relevant solution. This response validates their thoughts while also letting you keep the tone light and constructive. For example, client says something like, I'm worried about the implementation time. You can say, yes, it's definitely a fair concern. And the good news is that we've actually helped clients get up and running so fast, one client called them caffeinated tech wizards. This approach not only keeps the mood light, but shows that you're attentive and responsive, which will boost the client's confidence that you can actually deliver on what you're selling. So why does humor work in sales? Well, using humor isn't about becoming a comedian. It's about being more human. By incorporating these lighthearted strategies, you can stand out, build rapport, and maybe even enjoy the process a bit more yourself. Whether you're trying to just drive one smile per hour or looking to make a lasting impression, humor can be a surprisingly effective sales tool. So go ahead and add a bit of comic relief to your sales process. You might find that along with making the day a bit brighter, it's also making a difference in your results. So why did the salesperson cross the road? To help their client get around a roadblock. See, I told you it wasn't the best punchline. But the email was effective. If you've got a better sales joke, let me know about it in the comments. Also, if you work on a sales team, let's connect to see how we can bring humor to your sales process. 
And finally, here's a slightly better sales joke. A salesman approached a potential client and asked, would you like to buy a pocket calculator? No thanks, the man replied. I already know how many pockets I have. <laughs>